Hello, today an old bayonet knife fell into our hands, and according to its condition, we see that it has been lying idle for more than one or two years. This knife has not been used for a long time, and it's unlikely that you will use it in this condition, but it's a pity to leave the knife in this state, so today we will try to restore it. Let's take a close look at this knife. As you can see, the rust caused very severe damage to the metal. And we can also notice damage to the handle, probably due to the fact that the knife lay in a humid environment for a long time, and the tree simply rotted. In short, in front of us, piece of scrap metal. Well, let's start to restore it. First of all, we need a vise. We clamp the knife in them and proceed to disassemble it. First, we need to disconnect the handle from the blade. So I took a hammer, inflicted a few light blows, and the handle split in half. Just look how the handle rotted, it is unlikely that we could restore it. Now I take a bayonet knife, fix it in a vise and take such a brush for metal. With it I will remove large piece of rust. After a few minutes of working with a such brush I saw metal. After that I took a screwdriver with such a needle nozzle. It's made according to the same principle as the previously used brush, but it shows itself much better in the fight against corrosion. After treatment with this nozzle the blade began to look much better. Now I took a grinder with such a petal attachment. Turn it on and get started. Such a tool cleans off rust quickly and very well, but you need to work with it very carefully, because such a tool damages the metal very quickly. So we don't press hard, but just pass a little over the entire surface of the blade. Now it already looks much better than at the beginning, even a little gleaming. After that we will have to work manually. With some paper we process all the parts that could not be processed with a power tool. And after an hour we finish with it, but there are still quite a few scratches on the surface of the blade that need to be removed. This time we again took a drill, but with a nozzle for emery wheels. I take a sandpaper with a very fine gradation. I do everything very carefully and try to not miss a single scratch. As for me, the blade already looks cool, but for a better shine we also decided to polish it. For this I took a felt disc. Fix it and then apply a special polishing paste. So I can already polish it. This process is not fast, but very pleasant. Polishing paste erases all scratches. As you can see, the knife quickly changes its color to gray, as the paste mixes with a fine metal that appears when polished. After 2 hours we finished polishing the knife. So let's take a napkin and wipe the blade from the remnants of the paste. Just look at the result, the knife blade just sparkles in the sun, and its surface has become like a mirror. Of course that we could not remove all the scratches, but you must admit that it is 100 times better than it was. Now you need to come up with something with the handle, since at the beginning it cracked, and it will not to be possible to restore it. Let's make a new one. We took just such a stick, took measurements, and sew it off to length we needed. After that, using coarse grain sandpaper, we give the handle a shape. And the surface was brought to the ideal with an emery sponge. It turned out very well. The next step is making a hole in the center of the handle. And we also drill the seat for the blade. Now we need to protect the handle from rotting. I took drying oil, dip a brush into it and soak the wooden surface with it. 
This is how we got a handle. And now we can already assemble the knife. First of all, I insert the blade. And it remains to clamp it with a cap. Before that, I decided to polish it. Now it is like new. It turned out unrealistically cool. But the knife is not sharp yet. We take a special stone for turning and moisten it with water before work. Now we carefully sharpen the knife. It must be held at an angle of about 15 degrees and with gentle movements we bring towards you. The blade is now sharp and the knife is fully functional. And now we need to test it. We will carry out the first test on a cucumber. It cuts very well. Our knife copped with a cucumber. But what about tomato? There were also no problems. And the test on a tomato was passed. Will our knife cope with it weak? Of course. Well, the last test is the most difficult, on paper. And it cuts paper no worse than scissors. We are very pleased with the results, because taking the knife at the beginning of the video and now, you might think that these are two different knives. And it is very pleasing. We can safely say that three days of continuous and hard work were not in vain. Well, you can send my efforts by liking and subscribing to the channel. And you can also watch my other videos.